a very good morning to you my name is Dereva Hillary and this morning we're talking about the shame of corruption and just like you have seen with the video that we began our broadcast with it's so embarrassing that a show is held abroad to showcase how corrupt we are taxing even the charity I'm speaking to Lito, he's a political analyst. Good morning, Lito. Good morning, how are you? I'm very well. How have you been over the weekend? Uh, the weekend has been good. Now, uh, are well. you embarrassed as I am, uh, as a Kenyan, speaking of corruption, because it has now gone to another level where a live show is held abroad to demonstrate how corrupt we are to a point of even co uh, charging calling it a uh, charity tax that's how that man described what he was requested for it happened in mombasa and this mm. someone was coming to help kenya mm. so what do you make of this uh as a kenyan as a young kenyan i'm very much embarrassed first of all and you see the to, to, uh, to our surprise our leaders and our institutions are not ashamed of themselves they don't feel that pinch. They don't take it as anything. For them, they just take it casually. Mm -hmm. They just take it like, like a by the way, okay? Mm -hmm. Or they can stereotype it and say, maybe these are just the whites who like speaking against the African countries, because those are some of the defense our leaders will come up with. Instead of sitting down and looking into the problem, because corruption itself, it has been a vice in this country. True. Corruption, has killed our democracy. Corruption has killed our security. The education sector has been infiltrated by corruption. And also the economy itself has been affected to a large extent by corruption. So when you see like that person was coming, was coming to provide services to the country that will benefit the common Mwananchi. But now his goods were stuck at the Mombasa port and he requested to give out something so that he can get whatever he wants to get. And we forget whatever he's bringing to the country is to our own help, not to benefit himself, but to benefit the country at large. So these are some of the things that we need to look into seriously. Mm -hmm. And we need to step up as youths, we need to step up as a country and as a nation so that we can fight this thing. because. When you look at the economy, it cannot grow. Mm -hmm. It cannot grow. Why? The, the trader or the, 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 the small trader somewhere will incur so much due to corruption. Now, when he or she incurs so much due to corruption, who suffers? The consumer. Sure. Because you'll get this person, will come and inflate the prices, that the, 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 the consumer will not be able to manage as, 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 as the, the, the market price. Now, this one affects the revenue collection. Because when the trader cannot sell, it means this trader cannot remit taxes. True. If a trader gets goods, okay, which he needs to sell, then he sells at the, at the highest price, okay, because of the corruption, because he, he, the trader also needs to meet these costs. True, true. Remember the trader, when, go, when going to get the, 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 the license, for the license to come out quickly, he had to had give to out something. Yes. For the commodities to come, for him to get the commodities, he has to, get to, to, to pay something. Yes. Now these are the costs. Who needs to meet this cost? The end user, yeah, end user. who is the, com the, the consumer. Now the consumer may decide, I don't want to get, I, I, I'd rather sit without whatever you want to give me. Or I'd rather use other mechanism to get it. Okay? Now, this trader, at the end of the day, because he has not made any sales, at the end of the day, at the end of the month, he will return a nail sell to KRA. Now there's no revenue collected. True. This hampers the revenue collection. Hence, there's no development because we need to develop from the taxes that we, 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 we give out. Mm -hmm. On the education sector, why is it that we don't have good infrastructure in our schools? Why is it that even our children who have finished Form 4 or Class 8, mm -hmm. is, uh, despite the fact that we have the 100% transition, they cannot 
go to school, the desired school. Why? Mm -hmm. One, because the government has no funds to distribute, to pay the school fees for this student, as it promised when it was coming to, 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 to power. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the children will be suffering at home because of lack of school fees. Remember, the parent has been told education is free. Yeah, and okay? expect it to be free. And we okay? expect it to be free. So unlike you and me who went to school sometimes back, well, it was the responsibility of our parents to get that school fees, okay. to take us to school. Now, a parent sit down and relax and waits for the government to pay for, this, uh, for the school of this child. But even if we wanted to, uh, to tire for our children, it would be difficult because the economy is hard. And it's hard because of the people who are on the top. I want to, have a, a, to supply some goods that's a tender, but yes. I have to push my tender to go through. Uh, and in return, I will, I will supply uh, whatever commodity I'm selling because I pushed for it. Someone yes. would have offered better commodities than I am, he's left out. Very true. Because of corruption. I, I, I just want to bring in one of the comments he, he, he said that he was called and told, uh, if you want uh, these machines, because they were drilling mm -hmm. machines, mm -hmm. he wanted to take away, he wanted to offer this charity, he was told... Uh, you'll have to pay something yes and you see uh, the problem is who is speaking about it it's not a kenyan someone far from who he, and he, comp he says he has not been in any other african country mm -hmm. and experienced such mm. but kenya mm. makes the whole impact and he says he uh You've had, he has heard of uh, Nigeria, Nigeria, but he has yes. not been there. Mm -hmm. But he makes Kenya to be the greatest. Mm. Come on. Ga now, Ga Ga Ghana is leading. I'm not saying <laughs> we are okay to be number two. Mm. But seriously, last year, uh, no, 2018, there was some math that was done mm -hmm. on how corruption has, uh, has been a problem in Kenya because it was believed the amount that we lose uh, like say three months is equal to thicker road yes and i was imagining by the end of say financial year how many thicker roads would we be having a uh, lot because of corruption just last week we saw what happened with the senate mm. they decided to send uh, Ferdinand Waititi to home yes because of corruption mm. as much as we send him home because of corruption but have we recovered whatever he took from the government no okay we've not we've not recovered and we never recover it mm -hmm. as much as this person will go to court will do what this amount of money shall never be recovered okay. the nys story the monies have never been recovered okay so these are some of the things that we need to look into you see uh, even Kim Aror and, uh, uh, and Aror, yeah, the amount has never been recovered. Waiting. We are still waiting and for investigations. You see, right now from June, July, we need to pay the debts that we have, that we owe China. Where is the money? We don't have the money. And that's why even the parliament is raising, is, is working on raising the ceiling of borrowing so that it can borrow, then it pays the debts. That is the man that the parliament is working to, towards. Mm -hmm. To borrow, then pay the debt. And we shall remain indebted in the high, in the huge sum, in huge sums of money if we continue doing what we are doing right now. So what we need to do is to step up. If there's the corruption in whatever way, because corruption hampers a lot of things. We cannot grow economically. Mm -hmm. Believe me or not, we can never grow because of this corruption. True. Remember, this person was coming to offer services to our country. Okay, we can say he was coming to do it free of charge. Mm, yeah. Okay, and that's why he called it a charity. Yes, tax. He, 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 he coming to do free of charge. Why do we subject such a people to such a things to corruption? Mm -hmm. And yet, right now, the the rains, we 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 don't have mechanisms of harvesting that water. We are not. We shall, uh, and uh, when we, it will come to that time when the rains are over, there's a dry season, we shall be crying of hunger. And yet we had mechanisms that we can manage so that we can do what? And have, have, have that rain. Ethiopia has worked with the U.S. 
to ensure that it constructs a one kilometer dam in their region. They had war with Egypt and uh, was it Sudan or Somalia because of the River Nile. But the U.S. has said we are going to work and complete that project because the project was to end by the end of the, the, the last year. But it didn't come to an end due to those conflicts. Now it's going, it's, it's going to come to an end. Ethiopia will never experience uh, the things to do with hunger because it is working on food security. Come two years from now onwards, Ethiopia shall never experience anything to do with hunger. Our country, when we see down when we talk of development, instead of doing the development, we look at how we can embezzle the funds. How can we benefit ourselves from that? Mm -hmm. Okay? For a few individuals. And we forget the society. We forget the people who are supposed to benefit from those projects. Mm -hmm. Okay? So these are some of the things that we need to look into. Democracy has been, has been, uh, uh, has been also deteriorated due to corruption. Because we end up electing leaders that are not visionary, that are not up to task, that are, A, their aim is just to steal okay. and not benefit. And we are also the cause of this. Because when a leader or when somebody needs to be elected, then this person comes to you. Instead of you looking at the ideology of this person, you are looking at how much is this person going to give me. Then this sure. person sees it's better I buy these voters because it's a matter of buying them. They have, they have showed me that I need to buy them. They are, they, they are not interested in my ideology. Then let me buy them. That's why when the MP can, an MP cannot account for the 100 million shillings that is given every year for CDF. And so is the MCA for the 20 million. MCA cannot account for it. The women have their own kitty. They cannot account for it. Okay? Mm -hmm. If we can account, first of all, for these leaders... If they can, they can account for their funds that are given so that they can support Monainchi, then we shall not have a problem in this country. But we go on not looking at the, an ideology of an individual, but what is going to give me. If but somebody gives me 500. Most of these people who come to us, they have very visionary points. We feel them, we see them, and they promise us, and we can see they will do it. But once they are in the house, everything changes. You oh, see, no. do, I, do you blame me as an electorate? No, the, 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 there are those fallacious, lucrative ideologies that somebody runs with. Okay? Like, for example, the fallacious and lucrative ideology that the Jibril government ran with when they were coming to power the stadiums. If they could have best mechanisms, okay? If they could have best managers who could have implemented the projects, Kenya will be very far. Because the stadiums can, is also a source of income, okay? It is also a way of improving our sports, okay? Now, when we come to education, it has deteriorated because of such a things. There's no much funds in the education system. Look at the security. Why is it that we have the, 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 the KDF in, the, in, the, in, the, in Somalia, which is also bringing a lot of insecurity to our country, okay? There is somebody benefiting. I just did my few consultation with a few individuals from there and asked them, why is it that uh, this was a security officer from that region? Yeah. Why is it that we cannot have serious security measures in Garissa mm -hmm. or in the northern east so that we can finish this Al-Shabaab? The UN, you know, you cannot get out of uh, UN peacekeeping because the UN is in, has invested a lot of money to us so that we can Keep be at the, at, the, at the peacekeeping. Mm -hmm. And these monies go to few individuals, mm -hmm. okay? Now, we are being fought by Somalia because of such a things. So if the we did, and if, the if, we withdraw, if we withdraw from, from Somali and Amazon, then we shall never be uh, uh, in the peacekeeping. It is good if we withdraw and stop being at the peacekeeping for our country to be safe. But, so if we get out, so the monies will not go to these individuals? The monies will not come to the country. Okay, okay? Mm -hmm. which 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 favors few individuals mm -hmm. in the in the in the in the in the in the military and uh, other areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are some of the lapses that we have. Right. These are some of the major corruption that also goes in the in the security sector. Okay, because our problem is on corruption. Major problem is security, okay. democracy, education, and economy. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. 
Because investors cannot come in the country. Like that, that, that guy is an investor. He cannot come to the country. Why? And how many investors who are interested in coming to the country they cannot now. In, in, the, in the West African countries who have viewed that clip? They cannot come. Actually, it has so much uh, trended. Yes, it has trended. I, I, I'm imagining the people who have watched it and this was a live broadcast from yes. the region. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. Uh, now that you speak of us being um, the wrong people, we yes. bring this trouble to ourselves. Just last week, we saw our avocados have been banned from going to abroad. This is a Kenyan market that we are losing. So, in as much as we are blaming our leaders, we still need to blame ourselves because we become so much greedy. Uh, you see, and that's why I say, at times we, 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 we lose focus and uh, our priorities are not well set. Mm -hmm. The avocado thing was politically instigated. Mm -hmm. Okay? It was just all about showing us you have connections with these nations that you can supply avocado. It was not well managed from our end. People were not well trained on the avocados. And do you remember there was a time the leader stood and told people, you cannot keep on planting maize. Plant avocados. Fine, you plant avocados. We have avocados. Where are we going to take them? How should we manage these avocados so that we can be able to sell them to the markets, to the, to the international markets? Okay? So the other day, when people cried about the rice, there was a time we cried about rice, that is a, a plastic rice, okay, and from, 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 from international markets that was being brought to the country. Right now, it, it, it's now about a matter of flip-flopping flip so that we can now entice the voters that let people buy rice mm -hmm. from, 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 from the common market in Mwaya at 85 shillings. Why didn't we have these measures before? before? Because the government itself has been buying the rice, okay, the government institutions, the, the, the military, the NYS, the, and other forces have been buying rice mm -hmm. from outside the country. So okay? as, the, as the Kenyan become smart, quote, and quotes, they give us fake rice, now we are giving them fake, fake avocados. Uh, this, this, first of all, these avocados, is not the first time they are being neglected or they are being rejected. Mm -hmm. It was there before, okay. but it was not in the limelight. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the, it, today it has just come on the limelight. Just because things have become worse, okay? But if we can come out and do things in accordance the way they are, we are supposed to do them, we take time, okay? Because it's, look at the flowers. The way, nobody has rejected the flowers from Kenya. They are well much embraced outside, okay? okay? If we can take time and study about the agricultural sector on avocados and how you can import them, the best thing. But the problem with us, we, we hurry up things. There are those ones who are fully informed. They do it to the best. They supply. Mm -hmm. But there are those who are interested to do it. But they cannot do it. They only hurry up and then they mess up the market. All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just a final one. Uh, the DPP was very undermined when he came into office and he has been doing a good job. But in the recent past, a few days ago, it seems things are cool. Uh, does it mean things are better now or we should wait and see what he has in store, briefly? You see, first of all I can say the DPP was all about the show off. Because one, the people who he, he arrested, the cases are still pending in court, okay? We've not known if they're guilty or not guilty. Okay. One, there's no watertight evidence on these people. The person is taken to court today, the DPP will ask for more time for investigation. Right. More time for investigation, then it comes and lapses. There's no issue about that person again. Okay. So it was all about a show. What we need to see, I don't need to see somebody going to jail because of corruption, but I want to see a case, okay, that has been looked into to, to an extent where the judge would say, we don't have enough evidence to put this person in jail. Or this is the env enough evidence that this person should go to jail. And the other thing is, I believe uh, a law should be put in place, or an act should be put in place to exped expedite this issue of cor uh, economic crimes. Because they take so long, and justice is not delivered. Because one person will stay in court forever with these cases. And no justice will come. And no justice will be delivered. Okay. So these are some of the problems that we need to look into. When we are uh, also when you are talking of changing the law. 
So we need to focus in such areas of economic crimes. How are we going to handle them? All right. Uh, apparently, we had a very few minutes to talk about this, but uh, I appreciate you came and you made it. It's a shame that we are talking about corruption over and over again. I'm hoping there's a time we will completely uh, don't have anything to do with corruption and people will be smart and will have discipline and dignity to carry our economic education and every other thing that concerns um, every citizen and a common citizen to a place where we'll be okay. Thank you so much for coming and back home. Thanks for keeping us company. He has been my guest, Cyrus Elitso is a political analyst. Coming up next is Val. Keep it OI254. My name is Edereva Hillary. Good morning.